Today on the show, we have the new 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor, something that we actually have on order and should, should see hopefully, well, we should see it sometime this year. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty excited to bring you guys more coverage of this thing. We've talked a lot about this vehicle, but we've not seen it in this particular color. And I forget, is this lightning blue? I forget what's the name of the blues that Ford used. One of the blues. Yes, but this color pops with this, with this vehicle. What do you think of this color, Kelly? I really like it, but I, is it because of the all the lights yeah, all that the it lights makes lights. it super pretty and then in person in the everyday it may not be but i like it the way that it sits right now well it's a sunny day we'll just pretend this is a sunny day <laughs> here in chicago and uh let's go around this i want to point a few things out that we might have missed before when we did the uh press reveal of this and uh let's go from right, there. the classic f-o-r-d spells ford out the grill there i love that grill i think it looks great i love i love how they've included this into the the headlights there just it looks seamless and it looks great of course you're gonna get front and rear driving cameras on this all the 360 the copilot all the fun so when you're offering you'll be able to see but one of the things to make you see is you want high output lights and uh, definitely they're getting a high performance light in this um getting a fog light down here but nothing too crazy no no nothing like they do with bronco to kind of like accessories you know this vehicle doesn't need much accessories because well it's built from the factory basically how you need now you get these active active vents up here you get a uh, fence on the side here overall that's a very raptor raptor staple the color of this thing i want to say the color of this thing is wild i love it look at the blue Look at the, the shimmer of that blue into this thing. And this is not a color, we've seen it on the, the other four products, but it's not a color that I would normally have went for. But on this, it looks great. And it looks great with the Raptor, the digital badging. Now on normal Raptors, you get just where it says Raptor back here, but this is an added package. And I've, I've said this last time, look at the indentions of that. That actually looks cool. But with the digital camo that they've done with this, I think it looks great. There's, it just, it makes it pop out more. I'm a little worried on our shelter green that we have on order. Is it gonna pop out like it does here with the, the Ranger Raptor? Of course, being a Raptor, gotta have the badging, right? And of course, there's more of that, that digital camo in this. I would have liked to see them stamp Raptor in there instead of just putting Ranger, but it is a Ranger. You know, it does have the heart of a beast there. Dual tailpipes on this thing. You know, it's gonna sound fun. Not as fun as a V8, but it's gonna sound fun. You see the Watts link set up under there. So it's gonna keep that axle nice and straight when you're on the high, the high bumps tow package the way they've integrated it here into the bumper looks pretty good this is uh this is going to be a sore spot it does have somewhat of a built-in skid for your plugs i can see that getting just the piss beat out of it i don't know why ford didn't integrate it into the bumper better i'm sure they have a reason why but i can see uh having to come up with a, a way to uh hide that a little bit better maybe maybe drill out our own ways of doing this but you get massive tow hooks on this definitely made to uh to take a beating and if it gets stuck made to jerk get the thing out of the stuck and let it go back on the racetrack um integrated with the the rear bumper of that so that looks good oh. all right so this is what it's going to look like when you're driving your new ranger raptor and the steering wheel everything about this feels great i'm very excited to work with the upright screen on this uh, we normally we have the small eight inch screen in our bronco but i'm interested in how is this going to work for my daily life the, uh, the little mouse pad shifter, I'm sure I'll get used to that, but uh, I kind of would like something, I don't know, maybe yeah, more, more, substantial. more substantial there. But it is nicely leather wrapped. As you can see, the stitching looks great. All the little leather features around it. You do have a parking electronic uh, brake on this. You have all your little off-road functions here, so when you want to put it into all your special modes. If you've seen Bronco, you, this is look, it's relatively similar to the Bronco, even all your drive modes. Of course, they don't call it you know, Sasquatch or anything in this package. But over here, you do have your, your charging pad on this. It's, it's kind of sad, though, that we didn't get two. It's a small truck, so I kind of forgive it for that. But storage, you got your little cubby up here if you want to, you know, your passenger wants to put some kind of phone or whatever they want to do up there big old big old uh, glove box there you know to store all your cool gloves because you're so off-roady the mirror everything about this you do get your all your outfitter switches they're all up here and top and something that kelly didn't get with her bronco we got uh for our sunglasses we had to go with aftermarket to fix that problem but you've got garage uh you know i have Double a garage system. but i don't have a, a way to uh use it because i can't park this in there but as you can see here look you know there you go there i am the the yellow color bulbs which i keep hearing is because of facial tones so people don't like the white on their faces so it makes them look kind of kind of strange now as far as the detail of the seats let's let's look at this this is a raptor 
so it should be uh, very special. And these seats, man, these seats are very, very special. I love the look of these things. They didn't go too crazy, like the whole Alcantara, whatever they want to do on that. They didn't go too crazy with it. So it's going to be a nice, nice, comfortable seat in the, I think, in the hot weather where I'm not sure about full Alcantara. Trailer controls, you have all your trailer controls here. You actually have physical HVAC buttons, which I think trucks need. I, I don't wanna see them ever move this into the trucks, move it up into the screen, but we do have actual physical controls there. I would have liked the stitching in the seats, this, this orange stitching. I would have liked to seen them uh, kind of carry it over here. For some reason they didn't, I don't know if it's a pre-production issue or something, or maybe that's just how ours is gonna come. But overall, the interior of this thing looks great. I can't wait to hear the sound system. The sound system for me is is gotta be, anything's gotta be better than a Bronco, right? 100%, 100%. The sound system in the Bronco is just awful. But this, you're getting the Bang & Olufsen sound system. I can't remember how many speakers, but you do get a sub and that, and the sub's in the back seat back there behind that. So, uh, you know, your passengers will appreciate you know, you put some Jay-Z in there, your passengers are really going to appreciate the booming sound. <laughs> Overall, I want to get Kelly in this because I've not seen you in the, oh. to get a feel for this. Well, oh. this isn't ours, so you get to sit in this one. Oh, that's how this works. So let's, uh, let's get Kelly in here and get your, your final thoughts. So someone's first time getting into this. It is the first time. I will say, you know what, the first thing that stands out to me? Pretty scratched up in those seats. You hush, Kelly. I hope Kelly. they live up. How dare you talk bad about this truck? I hope they live up to Dave's expectations from that perspective. But we'll go ahead and get in. All right, seating position in this thing, Kelly. How, do, how does this feel? How, is it comparable to the full-size trucks you like, or how does this feel as a truck? So I feel it, it, it's, it feels a little bit smaller than the Bronco from a seating position, so I'll, I'll say that first. And from a comparison perspective, I definitely feel like it's a little bit smaller compared to the full size, which obviously you're comparing two different vehicles. So yeah. when it comes to that, but I could do this on a trip. I feel like it's comfortable. They're I think racing. we're gonna do it on a trip because we got uh, about a thousand miles. Yeah, we gotta pick it up in Michigan, right? Um, but yeah, so the seats feel racy. They hug you. Like there's definitely the comfort of it to get you on those cool adventures that you're going to be taking your right now around. so the the big key is is this you feel comfortable in the seating position you're at yeah now let me get in the back because i'm curious how is it having a full-size passenger in the back all right she's ready to go zoom 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 down the highway and i'm but gonna do it what if we have a full-size passenger that wants to sit back here actually compared to the some of the toyotas that we've seen this actually is not that bad. Now, I would have loved a grab handle or something. We do have the, the big sand rails here, the steps for that, which makes it nice. You can grab your hand up here, but they're really, probably for they don't want people banging their head on anything, but to get in that, it is a little bit of a step. So we'll get in it and uh, we've shut the door. And Kelly, yeah? I'm surprised. I really am. We sat in, in, or in, uh, in, a good way or in Detroit way? when we were at the press reveal of this vehicle. We we sat in it, but we didn't. We had a quick time. We had to get a flight to catch. But so this is the first time. And look at what they've done. They've they've caved these seats in to where she has a comfortable ride, but the passenger gets some leg room. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's actually quite a bit of leg room back there. This is I kind of you know stand or sit with my legs kind of spread out like that. I feel very comfortable, and uh, you're where you would like to be, yep. right? I'm where, I'm good, and honestly, the way that I sit in a vehicle, I sit a little bit further yeah, back further than back. Dave does, yeah. so because I have longer legs, so <laughs> I sit back a little bit further. So to say that he's comfortable in the back seat, even in my spot, then that's definitely saying something. Yeah. Now, one of the takeaways from this thing was that upset people was no HVACs back here. You have this little cubby. It's definitely, and I know the uh, the Indonesian stuff, they get actually air vents back here, but no controls, no nothing. You do get a, you're getting the inverter back there. It looks like you're getting uh, one USB and one USB-C plug in back there. You're actually getting matte pockets. What's a map? I don't know. I think it's something that happens in <laughs> that thing. That's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but as I say here, in the you're going to get a, the, the window is going to be powered, so uh, you don't have to worry about your small child or small person back there trying to, like, figure out how to open that up if you want that. It is a little bummer that they didn't do figure out a sunroof for this, but this is also kind of a high performance vehicle and structurally they wanted to be able to take a beating. This thing's done the Baja 1000. I think they won their class in the Baja 1000 in this vehicle. So it's built to go have some fun. And uh, yeah, so I want to go have some fun. And you know what? This is a position you will never see me in again in a Ford Ranger. Just wait. No, no, Just you're, you're never going to see wait. me sitting in the back of this vehicle. Just so Kelly, 
enjoy this because this will never happen again. You know what? Famous last words. All right, so in the comments below, you know what to do. Let me know, uh, would you choose this color? Because uh, Kelly, I kind of makes me regret the color we chose, I'll be honest. And this was not, you know, no upcharge for this blue. It's pretty. I'm sure the shelter green I'm still gonna love. So in the comments below, let me know what you think of this new Ranger Raptor. Are you guys still into it? Are you like, eh, I'd rather have the ZR2 or even the new TRD Pro Tacoma. So, Kelly, whether it be two-wheel drive. You can't have the driver's seat back just so you know. No, 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 no. This, this is Four-wheel drive, truck. it doesn't matter what you drive as long as Kelly's driving the Ranger Raptor. Peace, everybody, love y'all.